Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. Let me get into the story of how I ended up walking away from one of my buddy's houses with a hatchling turtle. I really did not plan on keeping this species, but they're just so freaking cute and it was so easy to set up an enclosure, which I will show you. But first, let me explain to you this story. So basically what happened was I did some work for a friend of mine, a bunch of yard work and uh, some help setting up some turtle enclosures. He breeds a lot of turtles and he said, Dan, come here, let me give you cash. I said, no thank you. Let me just save up for a cool turtle, something like underscore. I will show you what the turtle is. So he said to me, do you want one now? And I looked at him and I said, sure. So needless to say, I went home after my internship with a new little friend here. This is a Chinese box turtle. Their scientific name is Quora Flavo Marginata. They're bred pretty regularly in captivity, but this is my first of the Asian box turtle species, and I really hope that I can work with them more in the future. This little guy needs an enclosure. Therefore, I have this, which I got from under my bed. Here we go. This looks pretty good. But let's go ahead and get this all set up. As you folks know, I like to do things super simple. I have a bag of peat moss for substrate. I also purchased some sphagnum moss, which ideally I would just use a whole bunch of that, but it was kind of expensive and peat moss was a lot cheaper. Therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and fill up a small layer in there. Now that I have a nice little base layer of just maybe an inch and a half to two inches of this peat moss, I'm going to grab my sphagnum moss and see if I can... Yeah, I didn't think that this would work. I purchased a tripod and before I was even able to use it, it broke on me. So don't purchase $20 tripods from Amazon. They're cheap and they don't work. This has a lot of straw in it, a lot more than I would have liked. So I'm going to take this and sort of spread it around. You can see it's super dry stuff. It's practically blowing away in the wind right now. Okay, this looks pretty good. So now let me take this entire enclosure. I have this little spot for it right over here. And there we go. You can see it gets a little bit of shade, more so during the later part of the afternoon but there's also a nice little bit of sun for this little fella to come out. But he also needs a little high. I just cut this little planter in half, so I'm going to take one and put it maybe right like that. He also needs a little water dish, but I first need to water this entire thing to get it nice and moist. Also, because I ran out of dechlorinator, this stuff, uh, I'm totally out and I don't have well water, so I have to use water from the refrigerator that's dechlorinated. And now I'm gonna go in and make sure everything's nice and moist. I'm probably gonna have to do this with probably th at least three water bottles full to make sure that everything stays nice and damp because it is necessary for these animals to stay healthy. Perfect. Now I can scooch this little area out and get this, make sure that it's nice and clean and move this over because that's too much moss there because I just want to make sure that he cannot climb out. And even if he does, he cannot escape. There's no holes anywhere in this entire screened in area. It would be interesting looking for him, but he will have nowhere to go. So now let's add the rest of this water into here. And there we go. This is a perfect Flavo Marginata enclosure, at least for one to two hatchlings. Now let's get this little fella. Oh, these are perfect. All right, let's get a little worm segment.
Oh man, that's awesome. Good job, little buddy. Look at him go. He's trying to run away with it. Let me get him in his new enclosure with his new prize. Go, little friend, go. This little hatchling has been with others before, therefore he is very much used to competition and not getting his own meal. Now that he understands that no one's going to come take his nice worm, he can sit there and enjoy it. I actually made it too big, I should have made it much smaller, but the next piece I will ensure is nice and teeny tiny and baby sized. All right, little buddy. Here you go. Ah, so after about 30 or 40 minutes in this enclosure, I found the little box turtle right here. You can see there's his little shell. This is the exact type of behavior that I want to see. He's burrowing because he probably got a little warm and he feels more secure. And despite the fact that he has a nice beautiful hide right here, there is enough moss, peat, and sphagnum for him to burrow down and feel nice and cozy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the little bell notification thingy so you get notified when I make a new video. Again, I apologize for this video being out super late. Uh, I had surgery two days ago because my appendix is total garbage, but now I don't have one. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.